Welcome back for another fantastic day of making tools for clay use. So I have a clay extruder. I love it. It's fantastic. But dies are expensive and they just don't make the, the shapes I want. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to make a die for your wall mounted clay extruder. Now mine is a, a square. You could use, you know, up here. So or all of my templates, my dies are square shaped. This is cut from a cutting board. It's heavy duty, it's thick, it's good plastic, it works great, um, and it's really easy to shape. Now this one is an L shape. It's got two little dots here, a dot here, and a dot here. And what this was, this is actually my die that I use for making test tiles. It works great, I'm able to make thousand test tiles at a time it's a fantastic tool um, but I needed one for well I'm making a new smaller handle one and so what I'm gonna use I'm gonna take a piece of, of, of cut up uh, cutting board and I'm going to make a couple of I'm gonna draw out a shape that I would like for my handle to have. Try and put it somewhere near the middle of this board. And I am going to now use my drill. Just drill right through the, uh, the cutting board. You know, it's a real easy piece. Um, it actually goes pretty quickly. So I'm going to start with the drill. I'm going to drill out my holes where, how, where I want my die to stop at. Shape of my die. Now, I'm going to go to a little bit larger drill bit now. <clears throat> I, want the, I want the end of my handle to have a nice fat kind of rib, if you will. So I'm going to use a, a little bit larger drill bit. Kind of waller it out there. So I can lay down so. That leaves me with these two holes in this template. The next step is the jigsaw. And I'm going to now cut my handle shape out. I'm going to cut it flat on one side. I'm going to leave it on the other side. And to help keep my fingers where I want them to be, I'm going to just use some simple clamps here to Clamp my, let's see, make sure that's going to hold. All right, place my jigsaw in. Well, need to move it a little bit so that it gives me some, some room there. One more time, see if that. We're gonna have to break out the C clamp on this one. Just so I can get that extra room I need. So that'll fit. Let's C clamp up. There we go. Get one down. Really helps if you spin the the clamp for the C clamp in the right direction, so it's you know you're not wasting your time like I just did there. Always remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I seem to have forgotten that. There we go. Start clamping this down. Now, if you have a scroll saw you can get really fancy with your uh, 
we do patterns. I don't have a scroll saw, so my patterns are fairly simple. But that works great because my artwork is, you know, part of it's simple and the rest of it just gets way too weird. All right, so now let's try So I got the room I need. Yes, yes I do. blade stops moving before you hit it up. And now I have the beginnings of my template. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my files and I'm going to smooth out the inside, make it a little bit cleaner uh, with a rat file and a flat file so that they, and I'm going to give them a slight little bevel, which it's a little hard to see on video, but there's a slight little bevel here so that the clay will go through and as it comes out the other side, as it comes out the other side, it gets compressed, making it a little bit stronger. But this is going to be my new, it's my new die from my new mugs. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than my old one and I'm going to like it, I think. Test it out uh, once I'm done with the sanding and see how it works. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more weird, random tool making and clay making videos. Go make some clay.